In Finland, there is an old but still inhabited yellow apartment situated in a small city near an important railroad. Most of all the people living there are over 70 years old. And in fact, it seems that younger people simply won't stay there for longer than a year. If you live there, you will soon notice several unusual things. In the basement, the text, Turn on the lights, turn off the lights when you leave, is written next to every light switch. It's unusual to remind somebody something so obvious, but here it is of critical importance. People who forget something in the basement never return to pick it up. If you offer to go and retrieve it for them, they will stop you from doing so. There is one door there, between some storage doors, that has no numbers on it. Instead, the door has a worn out number plate on it. The people in the flat will tell you to leave that door alone. It is said that people who have peeked in the keyhole have seen very unsettling things. The wires and pipes in the basement look amazingly old, yet still the house has perfectly functioning water, electricity, and phone lines. The laundry room, which is in the basement, must be reserved if you want to use it. If you go there without reserving a time, first you will at first get weird looks and some scolding. Then people will more ominously and angrily warn you. These things may seem minor, but those, usually the young ones who have got too curious or failed to follow the rules, have ended up either dead, crippled, or insane. Usually people say that these incidents were the result of drug use or alcoholism, but some of the freak accidents cannot be explained by anything. How do I know this? I used to go and help my grandmother, who lived in that apartment, and I've seen several times an ambulance has dragged away young people who have missed an arm, sometimes some other parts also. The worst case was when I found a corpse that looked like an explosion victim in the laundry room. His guts were spattered all around the room, and his left arm was sitting on top of the washing machine. Before her death, my grandmother told that she knew what was behind these incidents. After the Second World War, there was a shortage of apartments, and one war veteran who had lost his left arm was given a rudimentary room in the basement for no cost if he would help people to do laundry and help the janitor. He did, but eventually someone insulted him one way or another. The veteran killed that youngster and himself, ever since his spirit has been there, harshly punishing those who fail to follow the rules of his home. After telling this, she told me that I should never, ever return to the apartment, as I knew too much. As I left the apartment for the last time, I could see the figure of an old, old man missing his left arm staring at me, reflected on the large glass panel of the door to the stairway. Hey guys, thank you for listening to today's creepy pasta, and I hope you enjoyed. I do have a podcast called The Murder House Radio Show. Check it out. The link will be in the description below. It is a true crime podcast. But if you did like, like, comment, subscribe, and share for more, hit the bell notification when you subscribe and select all to get all notifications whenever I upload. I upload new videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Now, all the long episodes and full series of creepypastas are on all major podcasting platforms under the name Deadly underscore zone underscore narrations. There will also be a link for it in the description. Also, go follow all the social media accounts there in the description below. I do have a subreddit called Deadly Narrations. The link will be in the description. Also, in the description below are the sources to the creepypasta and the music used, so go check those out. Let me know what creepypasta you'd like to hear next, or if you have your own you would like me to narrate. Or, if you have a creepypasta series you would like to hear, send them to me on any of the social medias in the DMs or to my email address, which is also in the description. Or leave them in the comments below. 
Also, in the description below is the author's social medias if they have any listed. But that's it for today's creepypasta, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, in the Deadly Zone, stay deadly and stay spooky.